Pastor Mark Driscoll finds himself in controversy again as he gets kicked off stage at a men's conference when he calls out Pastor John Lindell for allowing a demonstration from a male stripper. Believe it or not, guys, there is a lot of controversy over this and whether Pastor Mark Driscoll handled this correctly or not. And I want to watch this video with you and get your thoughts on it. But the only reason I'm reviewing this and reacting to this is because this goes along with a lot of what we have been talking about here on Glasshouse TV, and this is a real-life example of what we've been talking about, about the great apostasy, the great falling away, the false prophets that are going to arise, the persecution that is going to come to the body of Christ. There is some of that in this video, and that's why I want to address this today. So I'm hoping we can watch this together. I'm going to give you some thoughts, and then I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments section. So without further ado, let's give this a listen. But let me do this. Um, I've been up since one o'clock in the morning. The reason I'm hoarse is I have been praying for you and my heart is very burdened for you. And I want to be very careful with this and it's not what I want to say. But the Jezebel spirit has already been here. Jezebel spirit opened our event. Now, what you've been seeing at the bottom of the screen is the actual dance that's being referenced by Pastor Mark here. And this is, I guess, a picture of this male stripper that was invited to this men's conference to do this performance. This is a rebuke and a correction of no one. This is an observation. Before the word of God was open, there was a platform. It was a high place. On it was pole, an ashram. The same thing that's used in a strip club for women who have the Jezebel spirit to seduce men. In front of that was a man who ripped his shirt off like a woman does in front of a pole at a strip club. If you could hear that, but Pastor John Lindell yells from the front seat. He says, You're out of line, Mark. Then Mark Driscoll continues to talk, and then he says, Mark, you're done. And then that's when Mark replies, Okay, I'll receive that. And he packs his things and he quietly leaves. <laughs> So Mark addresses this Jezebel spirit, this guy swinging around on a pole, ripping off his clothes, this male stripper at a men's conference that uh, had like monster trucks and boxing matches and all kinds of like manly things. And I guess they were going to hear the word of God after that. It's a bunch of men getting together to do manly stuff, I guess. But this was one of the events. It's, it's weird. It's very weird it seems very out of place but jesus calls out the jezebel spirit in revelation chapter 2 and he says he calls herself a prophetess and is teaching and seducing my servants to practice sexual immorality and to eat food sacrificed to idols or compromised loose living we can serve jesus but we can do whatever we want that's what the jezebel spirit lures people into we talked about that in my last video about the broad and narrow gate one of the roles of false prophets is to lead people into the broad gate the gate of destruction they tell you it's okay Compromised lifestyles are fine. You don't have to follow Jesus. You don't have to make him Lord of your life. You don't. You can just live however you want. Once you've checked that box and gotten saved, it's totally okay. This is what that spirit does. It leads people down the broad road. So that's what Pastor Mark is calling out in this situation. This should never be allowed in any church, in any conference, in anything with the name of God on it. Promoting people to come here about the Lord and you've got this going going on? No, absolutely not. But what happens next might surprise you. Pastor John Lindell comes up on the stage, and this is what he says in return to Pastor Mark Driscoll. Yeah, 
Okay, so he comes up and says, Mark Driscoll is out of line. If he had an issue with this, he should have come to me directly about this. And then he quotes Matthew chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18 is the famous scripture that people use when talking about how to address someone that sins against you. It says, if your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone or privately. If he listens, you've gained your brother. And then it says step two is if they don't listen, then bring a friend, confront them again. If they still don't listen, then you tell the church. So John Lindell is saying, Pastor Mark Driscoll, you are out of line because you did not come to me privately. But guys, this is not a situation that Matthew 18 applies in. And you will see a lot of pastors try to weaponize the Bible in this area whenever they get caught in scandalous situations. Whenever they are in a situation where they have sinned, they have been caught caught and found out they've been unrepentant about their sin. And when it comes out, they will say, oh, Matthew 18, Matthew 18. And they try to point the finger at the one who is bringing this to light rather than taking responsibility for what's happening. Look at Galatians 2, when Paul opposes Peter or Paul calls out Peter. Why does he call him out publicly? Because of this. He says, you're acting hypocritically so that even Barnabas was led astray by their hypocrisy. When there is a public sin, there is a public hypocrisy. There is something done in public that could lead people astray. It needs to be handled publicly. So I have to say, I agree with what Pastor Mark Driscoll did in this moment. Whether you like Mark or not, I know he has a controversial history. I know he's like a bull in a china shop sometimes, but I have to agree with his his composure and the way he actually seemed to show restraint in this is very impressive to me, but I felt like he handled himself well, and I feel like he did the right thing. John 16 says this, and I've been talking about this. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering a service to God. And guys, this is exactly what I've been talking about when I say persecution is going to rise from within the church. They are going to be the ones that throw us out of the synagogues for standing up for truth, for standing up for holiness and righteousness. And they think they're doing it in the name of God as if they're offering some service to God. We cannot be deceived. Mark Driscoll called a spade a spade. He called out sin in the middle of this, and they told him he was out of line. John Lindell told him that he was out of place and that he was done. And this is what I'm talking about, guys. It's that spirit that would lead us into the broad gate of compromise and tell us that we can live however we want. Remember, this is a men's conference. This is in a church. This is something that people are meeting to talk about the king of kings and lord of lords who humbled himself into the form of a man to go hang on a cross for you and for me and this is what they're doing to celebrate that they have a male stripper come in and then this man comes up on stage and tells them this is wrong and what do they do put him out They put him out and tell him he is out of line. Guys, this is the junk that gets me all worked up. This is why I preach about the broad and narrow gates. This is why I talk about false prophets. This is why I talk about the antichrist spirit. These things are going on day in and day out, week after week in the name of God. There is no fear of the Lord in this. They've lost the fear of the Lord. They think that they're doing this and offering a service to God. Deceived. They are so deceived and my heart hurts 
I pray that the people that put this on and invited this man to come do this performance in this act, I pray that they will repent. And if they're not saved, that they will come to know the one true God. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their sins, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive them of their sins and I will heal their land. Guys, I have to say I'm in 100% agreement with Mark Driscoll on this one. Regardless of what you think of the man, he is in the right here and he did the right thing. We got to call sin what it is. We have to call a spade a spade. When it happens in public, it needs to be addressed in public. There is no argument here. There is no controversy here. John Lindell is in the wrong and I hope that that he will repent. I bring this up because this is all the stuff we've been talking about culminated into one nice little package of an event. This is part of the great falling away. This is what that stuff starts to look like. The rise of false prophets, the persecution for the one who stands up for truth. Guys, I'm telling you, it's coming down the pipe and we as Christians need to be prepared. We need to be bold and understand how to handle this stuff. And the Holy Spirit will be the one. Jesus said, I've said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. He's given us the Holy Spirit that will bear witness about him. The Holy Spirit will tell us what is right and what is wrong. If you're not subscribed, I would appreciate it and ask you to like this video. That's the thumbs up button that tells YouTube to send this video out to more people. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.